Hey card fighters, Chris here from Vanguard Central bringing you a Pale Moon Silver, Silver Thorn deck profile. Um, obviously centered around Lukier. The starter we use is Emil. If you don't know, her skill is going to be you put her into the soul and you look at the top five cards of your deck. And you can choose a grade three, two, and one um, with Silver, Thorn, Silver Thorn in the card name and put it into your soul. So it's really gonna help thin the deck from triggers which is one of the key strategies for the deck, as well as build up your soul and get that selection that you need for a lot of the calling out from the soul skills. So for the grade threes, we are running three Venus Lukier. Um, this skill is amazing for just filling up the field against those retire matchups, and it's a limit break, counterblast two cards with Silver, silver Thorn in the name. I keep saying Silver Thorn, it's crazy. Um, basically, and then you're gonna choose uh, soul charge two and choose cards from your soul with a total grade of six so you can call um, Grade zeros count so you can actually call like two threes and then a bunch of grade zeros to the boosting and It's also a cross ride for the original Lukier, which is definitely relevant um, especially against matches like aqua force and Nova grappler which are doing a ton of attacks at you um, Lowering those by a little bit is definitely helpful We're also running Three Venus Luke, not Venus Lukier. I just said that uh, Lukier Reverse, which is also a cross ride for the original original Lukier, and the Limit Break skill this time is Counter Blast One, lock one of your own rear guards, and you choose a Pale Moon from the Soul and get call it to your rear guard and give it plus five k. So that's gonna also help a little bit building advantage, and is not as Counter Blast heavy nor reliant on the Silver Thorn name as Venus Lukier. Again, being a cross ride for normal Lukier. Um, definitely helps against certain matchups, especially since most decks don't run 12k attackers anymore, so everyone's doing 16k columns, and just that 13k base that we can set up super easy is going to help ride our decks to victory. And lastly, we have two of the Venus, sorry, the normal Lukia, I keep saying Venus. Um, the skill is definitely very useful, but the main purpose is just to get her into the soul for the cross ride. And her skill is going to be Counter Blast 3 and choose a grade 3, grade 2, and grade 1, and maybe a grade 0. And yes, and also a grade 0 Pale Moon from your soul and call them to rear guard. So if you need to, it can be a good way just to fill up your field, just like Venus Lucier. Um, but again, mainly just for building like cross ride status and making it easy to guard against pretty much everything. Grade twos, we have two of the Rising Dragon, which is the 12k attacker for Silver Thorns. Um, this is good just because you don't need a boost, so say you're using Reverse, you can lock the booster and still be fine with a 12k hitter. Or you can call it out with um, Reverse's skill, making it a 17k hitter, which is going to be great. And just a little bit of overall consistency with the 12k hitters, which is why we run them. Next grade two is Upright Lion. This skill is when another Silver Thorn is placed on Rear Guard. So Upright Lion is going to get plus 3,000. So this card is super important for making a power plays, like power pushes, especially if you have one on the field or you call one out using Venus Lukier's skill because you're going to be calling out possibly three or four other units with it, and those are all going to count for the plus 3,000. So you can easily get him up plus 15k, and that's going to really push some hard numbers against your opponent. And the last grade 2 is definitely the best grade 2 in my opinion of the deck, is Marichika. She has a Vanguard Rearguard skill, which is Counter Blast 1 when your attack hits the Vanguard. And you get to choose one of your Pale Moon from your soul and call it to Rearguard. And at the end of the turn, it's going to go back into the soul. So this is great for just making combo attacks. If this card hits, you're going to be able to pull out certain great, like a grade 1, such as Zelma, which I'll explain in a bit. And that's going to let you reset a whole column. And that can really, really strong in early games, making multi-attack. And this card makes it possible to stay at grade 2, especially if you had her have her ridden against decks like Gear Chronicle, which really need um, your opponent to be at grade 3 to really get going. Um, the grade 1s are... Four perfect guards. This is the Silverthorn perfect guard. They don't have a new perfect guard yet, so even if they did, I don't think we would be running them because some of the skills do need 
um, Silver Thorn Counter Blast, like Venus. And then for Zelma, uh, MVP of the Grade one Ones. Um, this combos, I said, with Mari Chica because her effect is when she's called to rear guard, you choose one of your other Pale Moons. Um, does it have to be a Silver Thorn? Uh, yeah. So, and then you choose a Silver Thorn. You, you don't have to be a Silver Thorn for this one, and you put that unit into the Soul. And then you choose a Silver Thorn from your um, Soul, and then call it out from the Soul. So basically what you do is if you call her behind one of the units you've already attacked with, you can put it put it into the soul and then bring it straight back out and kind of reset that column, which is going to create a lot of um, power attacks. Next we have 3 Irina. Her skill is when she's called to rearguard, you look at the top two cards of your deck and you're going to choose one silver thorn and put it into your soul. Um, this is good for just starting to build up that soul. Um, maybe put Zelmas into the soul to call out with either Reverse or Venus. Basically helps you build that soul so your combo plays can really get going. Lastly is three Anas. And this attack is when you boost it and it hits and you can counter blast one and you basically do a Zelma. So you're gonna put choose a Silver Thorn or I think a Pale Moon, put it into the soul and then choose another Silver Thorn from your soul and bring it back out. So, usually want this behind the Vanguard so you can hit with a high Vanguard column and then if they let it hit, then you get a Counter Blast 1, bring a Zelma out from the soul, and then put an attacker back into the soul and then bring it back out and get a free attack that way. Almost like Sword Me, if you will. Lastly, the triggers um, is pretty straightforward. It's going to be 8 crit, 4 draw, and 4 heal. Um, and then lastly will be the strides. Uh, hold on while I get them real quick. I'm just going to just pause it and then okay. resume it. Where are the strides? <laughs> I'll put them in here. Derp Central. Derp Guard Central. <laughs> Bloopers at the end. <clears throat> Alright, I'm playing Summoner War, okay? Yeah, just continue as normal. Okay. Then. Um, so for the strides, um, first we have one Miracle Element Atmos. Just good for getting that power push early if you don't have anything stridded before, because it gets Counter Blast 1 plus 10k when you strike. And we also have one Blizza. Kind of like Atmos, meant for just doing those power pushes when you know your opponent doesn't have a perfect guard. And definitely better in the late game scenario, so playing one and one gives us a lot of options there. Then we have two Clifford the Big Red Dog. His skill is when he attack hits Vanguard, you can choose a grade two or less from your soul, call it to your guard, and give it plus two. So this is actually really good because if it hits, and if you have a Zelma in your soul, you're going to be able to reset a whole column and if you reset it with a 12k attacker and Zelma because you call Zelma um, she gets plus two then you put your attacker back in the soul call out a 12k attacker and that's going to be a 21k column that you're just resetting just for letting this hit and that's pretty amazing so two of those just to pry that on hit pressure and then we have four Mystique Lukier whose skill is choose two of your rear guards, put them into the soul. Um, sorry, I need to read this one. Once per turn, you can choose two of your rear guards, put them into the soul, and then you can soul charge two and choose two of your rear guards and call them out from the soul. And you can only do this if you have a Lukier um, heart. So this is actually, um, it's not generating any actual advantage, but it's going to help with power plays because if you have an upright line out, you're going to get plus 6,000 from just doing this. And it really lets you do early aggressive plays because you can make, like, use two of your grade ones to make a 14k column, which is going to be useful early game, but it kind of wears off once your opponent ride grades, rides grade three. But then with this, you can just put them back into the soul, call them back out again, and kind of fix your field that way. So that is our Silverthorn Lukier. Pale Moon deck profile. Um, 
I hope you guys liked it. Please give us a like. It really helps out a lot. Comment below if you have any questions on the deck. And make sure to subscribe for more content. Vanguard Central, out.